In previous videos, I have been using the method of hydrodistillation to pull the scent profiles from plants, including rosemary, roses, and limes. In today's video, I'll be purifying pine sap to be used as a scent within perfume, though it can be even used as a flavor additive in moonshine. We started off with our sap that I collected while I was out camping this last weekend. We then will add 20 milliliters of 95% pure ethanol to a vial followed by some stirring and warming up. I used a warm water bath to warm up the ethanol. As a warning, open flame should never be used because of how flammable ethanol is. The process that I'm using to do this is called winterization, to where it pulls the oils off, though leaves a lot of the fatty residues behind once I am able to filter it. It's at this point I put our pine sap mixture into the freezer to cool for about 10 hours. Now I have to further filter out the limonene and rose oils from the previous videos. I will be doing this through a 200 micron syringe filter since I'm working with such small batches. It's important not to push too hard on the syringe filter as they can break and you will have to refilter it again. I will follow this step with the limonene and the rose oil. After about 10 hours, we are able to pull the pine sap mixture from the freezer and we can see that a lot of the solid bark and dirt has fallen to the bottom. We are now able to filter out the pine sap with the same method we just saw with our limonene and rose oils. To make sure I get as much of the pine sap mixture as possible, I tilt the vial to the side to let the heavier particles float to the bottom while I take the top layer. It's at this point I need to find out my ratios of ethanol to scent oils. When I looked it up, it said about 10 to 15 percent oil to about 85 to 90 percent ethanol. So in my 5 milliliter vials, I'll be using 0.5 milliliters of oil to 4.5 milliliters of ethanol to give me a ratio that I'm looking for, which is about the 10 percent range. I will then follow the same steps with the rose oil and the limonene. Perfumes are made up of three general types of smells, a base note, middle notes, and top notes, and while researching I found out that they should be added in these orders to let the mixtures mix properly. I will be using the rose oil as a base, followed by the pine oil as my middle notes, and then limonene oils for my top notes in the, for this perfume. And there we have it. We just made our perfume. Um, I've, I've let this set for about two days since I've finished it there, just to kind of let all the oils really, you know, mix together is kind of what they were suggesting for it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see how this, this smells here. You can instantly smell a nice citrus to it. Followed by Wow, followed by a really nice woody smell. Definitely some beta pinene in there. I can actually smell the, smell the rose after smell as well, so that's actually really amazing. I'm actually really impressed with how, how well this turned out, though it was pretty easy and pretty simple to follow. But hopefully we'll have more of this in the future. If you guys like this, please uh, like and subscribe, follow us. And until next time, have a great rest of your day.